you know, um, it it was uh, said in in 2016 how Trump was going to be really bad for immigration, and people were really freaking out. Um, now I know that I'm the only one in here, but uh, they 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 were also saying uh, the Democrats, even through his his uh, time in office, that. He's uh, the biggest maniac in the world, which sometimes I agree with uh, most of the time, actually. But that he shouldn't give, uh, he shouldn't have his hand on the nuclear button, and he's a maniac, as I said, and then, and uh, he's he's just awful. And then uh, Nancy Pelosi gave him um, an extra one hundred and thirty-two billion dollars uh, to 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 make bombs. A hundred and thirty-two. Billion dollars, all to make bombs, and so Nancy Pelosi did that. Gave him seven hundred and fifty billion dollars a year, and um, and and you know these resistance Democrats say that, um, you know th- th- that that Trump is all bad and he's the worst president in U.S. history, and I do think that's true, but, uh. <laughs> they enabled Donald Trump. They didn't stifle his agenda. Uh, they they helped him. Um, they passed his trade policy. Some of the Democrats in the House voted for his tax cuts. Uh, almost every Democrat in the in the Senate voted for all his federal judges. Uh, and, and and the military budgets, and, and and then they say, "Oh my God, he's such a maniac." <laughs> That's funny. That's hilarious. And then um and and then in, in January 2018, uh, they they had this uh budget negotiation, and the Republicans needed the Democrats. The Democrats didn't need the Republicans. The, the Republicans need the Democrats, and the and the Democrats had so much leverage that uh, the the immigration policy people, the um, you know, it, it, it basically everybody was coming out saying, "Please pass DACA, please please make them pass DACA, pathway to citizenship," and the Democrats folded. Wow, what what a resistance party. They folded when they had the Republicans on their knees begging like, please, please pass this budget, please. And then Nancy Pelosi listened to her donors and said, okay, we'll pass it. And so did the Democrats in the Senate. And, um, you know, uh, for, for over two years, DACA recipients, um, because Jeff Sessions put a hold on it, um, he basically were in limbo until the Supreme Court decided on the, uh, uh, you know, with John Roberts going to the liberal side, hey, we'll keep DACA in there because you couldn't make a coherent, competent argument of why we should get rid of DACA. Okay. Well, The Democrats also said that Trump was going to be bad for immigrants. He was going to be the worst president in history because he was going to torture immigrants. He was going to create concentration camps, which he kind of sort of did. He was going to change immigration forever and make it more brutal, more hostile. And that's all true. Okay, uh, we can get we can get past that. But a lot of what Trump did is not really new. You know, they said, oh, my God, he's going to deport 11 million immigrants, every single one, 11 million immigrants. He's going to do everything. He's going to be so bad for for the immigrant communities. And the arguments went on and on. Interesting uh, article. The uh, Migrant Policy Center says that... Donald, President Donald Trump deported less than half the immigrants Barack Obama did in the first three years 
of his first term in office than Obama did in the same period. The first three years, Donald Trump deports less people than Obama did in the first three years of his own term. You know, Obama was called the deporter in chief. In fact, by his th- the third year of his second term, Obama had deported a staggering 2.5 million people. And um, it actually went up to 3.1 million. So Obama was just wanting to do it. And they were saying that, oh, it was to get all the bad people out. Every single one. With high uh, criminal records, threat to national security. Well, according to this, two-thirds of the people that Obama deported had minimal or no criminal records. Minimal or no criminal records. Oh, but Trump is so bad. (laughs) Yeah, okay. There was one person who got deported back to Honduras And he had he had run, run away and fled Honduras after his brother was shot and killed by suspected gang members. Obama deported him, and then he had basically been killed a month after he was sent there. Or I'm sorry, three years after. Another man. Immigrated from El Salvador. Salvadorian. He fled. And because he had a small minor traffic accident. And then they found that he had a a drug possession charge. Seven years earlier. ICE under Obama deported him. And then a month later he was. Or or I'm sorry no this was uh, uh, the other one. So the first guy got deported a month, uh, he got deported and then murdered a month later. This guy, after three years, got murdered, shot to death by suspected gang members in front of his wife and newborn child. (laughs) And then they say, oh, uh, uh, Trump is really bad for for immigrants. He's, he's, oh, oh, we... God, he's so bad. And then, here's here's an article. L.A. County Sheriff's... L.A. County Sheriff stops working with Immigration Custom Enforcement. That tells you that under Obama, in this article, state and local agencies, including our prisons, were working with ICE... And ICE would go in and raid the prisons and arrest immigrants. So as soon as those inmates inmates served their terms, they would immediately be taken by ICE and deported out of the country. That was under Obama. That was under Joe Biden. So they were monsters. They were hawks. They were bad for immigrants. They deported 3.1 million people. Obama was called the deporter-in-chief. And now we've got one of the architects of that policy going in to the White House. <laughs> the American people couldn't be more stupid. Oh, but Trump is really bad for immigrants. Oh, my God. Really? Yeah. Did he end asylum in Mexico? Did he put more barriers? Did he put more kids in cages? Yes. But in 2014, Obama built those cages. Not Trump, Obama did. And there were images that came out showing now kids and families together, okay, with Trump in separate. Children, toddlers are behind cages, but Obama put them behind cages in foil blankets. That's what he did. Obama did that. 
Oh, that's a conspiracy made by progressives to help the Republicans. No, it's not. Obama actually did that. Obama did that. So Obama was bad. Joe Biden was bad. All were bad on immigrants. They were bad for the immigrant community. And then Obama started getting pressure. And that's when he did DACA. That's when he did a few things that, that you know, softened it up a little bit. And then Trump came and put everything back. But Obama was bad on immigrants too. So, all these uh, prisons that are now stopping, they're not stopping because they didn't want to help. They just didn't want to help Trump because he puts an ugly and bad face to the policy that Obama also had in place. So, don't come after me saying, oh my God, Obama was so good with immigrants, when you know damn well he wasn't. And if anybody thinks it's a conspiracy that I'm spreading, and the progressives are spreading... Read the goddamn article because it says it right here. It's in the description. Go ahead and read it. Obama was bad for immigrants. Joe Biden is bad for immigrants. Oh, but he's going to do DACA and he's going to do pathway to citizenship. Doesn't mean he's not going to deport anybody. Oh, but Native Americans who have a traffic accident, you're okay. Native, uh, uh, you know, native born Americans, I'm sorry. Native born Americans who have a traffic accident, I don't know, just don't do it again. Native born Americans who have a drug possession charge, they're okay. Oh, but you're an immigrant? Get out. That's what they're saying. That's what they're saying, effectively. And Obama did all of that. Is Trump bad on immigration? Yes, he's a terrible Terrible, awful person on immigration. But guess what? These prisons, these state and local agencies, these cities who have now expanded into sanctuary cities, they were all bad. They all helped. They were all complicit. So was Obama. So was Joe Biden. And by the way, the person that Joe Biden has picked for his new for his, for his cabinet put a halt... Put a halt on an executive order or, or put, killed an executive order that would have halted deportations. That's what she did. And I'll go over that in another video. So Joe Biden's putting the same fucking people who were terrible on immigration that were under Obama's cabinet in his cabinet. So don't come to me saying that he's going to be great for immigrants. And better than Trump. In fact, he's probably going to be worse than Trump. And you want to know why Trump deported less people? It's because these states wouldn't work with him. But I guarantee you, their asses are going to start working with Joe Biden. Because he has a kind face. Not like Trump. Because Trump wouldn't wear a fucking facade. Trump came out and said, this is what I'm going to do. Even though it was terrible, these people didn't want to work with it. And Joe Biden's going to come good old Uncle Joe and deport more and more immigrants. And these People are going to help him. Every single one of them. So don't come to me saying that Obama is not as bad as Trump and that Joe Biden is not as bad as Trump because Trump ultimately ended up not being as bad as they were on immigration.